Good morning you lot, hope you're all well and dandy. A little bit of an update, that's all, that's all this video is going to be. I'm not, probably not going to be running any car in this video. I might do, but probably not. Just a little bit of an update. Um, some of you asked a few questions about this car. This this is obviously the Nitro Rush. It's a good little car. I'm going to try and tune it up the best I can, but I'm suspecting that the, probably the, the, you know, it's, the engine's not in the best of health really, is it, let's be honest. So... That's what I'm going to try and do, just try and tune it up. I'm not going to bother with it too much at the moment, because I've got too much going on. Um, well, I haven't got too much going on. I'm just trying to limit a lot of the stuff that I'm doing at the moment, because everything just gets sort of mixed into one, and then everything is, ah, oh, it's no good. So that's the plan anyway. Um, just try and tune this up as much as I can, get it to run reasonable, and then put it on the shelf. Uh, one's just running reasonably well. I know I said I was going to get the, the yellow one going, but I haven't had a chance. <laughs> I haven't had a chance. And only been in the garage. I've been in the garage to do a few things, get stuff out and put stuff in, but I haven't done anything in the garage. Um, you know. So that's that. Oh, that reminds me. If it was somebody from this channel uh, who bought me this nice dry duck, um, what would you call it, hoodie, jacket, whatever you want to call it, thanks very much. I got it a while back, and I put a video up on the other, on my other channel, um, and I haven't had a reply yet from anyone who says own, who's owned up to buying it for me. So may, maybe it was someone from this channel. Um, so if it was, thank you so much. You're an incredible person. Also, I've got a set of colouring pencils, which are the tits, man. I've done a lot of colouring with them. So thanks very much. I really, really appreciate it. I really do. Let's have a read some comments, shall we? Ah, uh, look at that. It's my wife's and I's hands on our wedding day. <laughs> anyway, let's have comments. So, um, comment number one on the list. It's definitely number one. Uh, Rampant Lion Smithy. He says, Love my Marauder V12. Just put a 10 turn brushless running. What? Why would you do that to a Marauder? Oh, a V12. I think that's the electric uh, stock car, wasn't it? Uh, two S lipos on it must be pushing in 50 mile an hour plus now need to find a big car park and really give it beans But it's so fast even the steering gyro struggles to control it <laughs> Well, you know each to their own. I suppose I'll give that a like well done. Mr. Rampant Lion Smitty yeah. I'm not really into modifying. Well, I kind of am but kind of ain't Christopher Pews my mate crashed into my MP9 at the back with his modded armoured Typhoon. Typhoon? I think it's Typhoon, isn't it? One zero. When we think it was about a 50 mile an hour crash, the impact bent the MP9's rear hinge pin and braced forward at one side, causing the suspension to collapse. What's a shame, isn't it, eh? Sorry to hear that, Mr. Christopher. Stripped it down at the roadside. Well, that's great. Used a brick to bend the brake. Sorry, can't speak. Used a brick to bend the brace back. Refitted it, and it works great. The rear gearbox is in perfect nick. Well, glad to hear that, Christopher. To say that MP9 is built ready to run, I cannot fault the build quality. Excellent. Well, we'll give that a love, because I agree. Um, the MP9 that I've got is actually the tits, man. Uh, I'm well pleased with it. Um, to be honest, I haven't had a chance to properly like jump it and, and uh, uh, abuse it, but I don't really do that anyway. Maybe, maybe I will soon, but I just, you know. Why do I even have hobbies? Because I don't have time to do them. But anyway, that's besides the point. The MP9 is in the nuts, you know, and I never used to like Kyosho. Well, I never really tried Kyosho, so I never, I, I used to be a bit weird and I just decided that I didn't really like the brand. But then I bought a Kyosho. And now I'm like, fucking hell. They're the nuts. That MP9 is the tits. I'd love an MP9E to, to try an electric version of an MP9, but I can't afford them. They're fucking expensive. Why is the electric version more expensive than the nitro version? Don't understand it. And I'd like to try an MP10. But I'd really like a Mad Crusher. Just to have a monster truck version. That'd be the nuts. But the Kyosho are the tits, man. I agree, Mr. Christopher. They are really good. Anyone who wants to get an RC car, go for HPI or Kyosho. Definitely. All the other brands, piss off. Kyosho, HPI. They're the ones to go for. 
and I better add in that's my opinion you know I see people in videos saying that um, people try to steer people away from other brands because they like their one brand I'm not trying to steer you away go and buy whatever brand you want to buy I don't care it's up to you it's your money um, there's other good brands out there my opinion okay this is my opinion only my opinion Kyosho HPI if I ever get the chance to test other brands I tried Traxxas shit <laughs> I didn't like Traxxas um, but if I ever get the chance to try other brands and I will I'm not going to buy them because I'm going to waste my money let's see the next one on the list um, Lisa Rumble I just got this car can it drift what, what car I don't know, it looks like that Subaru. What should I put? Any. I can't type my left hand. I'm right handed, I'm doing it my left hand. Any car. And I'm looking through the screen on the camera. Any car can. Any car can drift, Lisa. <laughs> Right, here we go. William Chishalom. Chishalom? Um, dude, I've got a set of those tyres. If you want them, just pay the postage and you can have them. Oh, cheers, man. What tyres? It's bloody shit, man. I can't see anything on here. That's better. Brightened up the screen. Oh, he means the, um, the rush tyres. Oh, nice. Okay. Cheers. I'll get back to you there, William. I'll get back to you and we'll sort that out. I haven't got a P.O. box in. I need to get a P.O. box, really. Um, yeah, where are we? Right, next one. Oh, it's him again. Any more videos on the horizon? What's a horizon? Another great video. Pity the motor wasn't in his best behaviour. Oh, it must be American. You're American, William. You called it a motor. It's not a motor, it's an engine. But you called it a motor, so you must be American. That's going to cost me a fortune to post those wheels from America to England. I don't know if I better do that in the end. Any more videos? What, what is a horizon, William? What is a horizon? I don't know what a horizon is. Any more videos? Any videos? Sorry, any more videos on the horizon? I don't know what a horizon is there, William. And I. Uh, have I, have I had anything called a horizon? I don't know. Um, please elaborate a bit more. What hor uh, what a horizon is, because I don't know what it is. Um, must be something what you look call over there. What has got a different name here, perhaps? I don't know. Yeah. So let me know what a horizon is, and uh, maybe I can tell you if there's going to be any more videos on it. So, yeah, we've got other ones here. Look. Here's all the comments I've read in the past, though. I've read them all out. I like that picture. I like the Japanese pictures. They're good they are. Another person, Gavin Scott. I've replied to all these comments, um, so um, you know I'm not going to bother reading them all out. But another person just got into the hobby, bought himself a, a HPR bullet. You know, and uh, he said. Um, The videos of you know he likes my videos basically a bit of godsend apparently so yeah, i'm glad that i'm helping some people and i don't really intend to well, i do but i don't I used to follow love you no nonsense straight see that's weird i didn't even know it was like that but there you go so there's plenty of comments thanks everyone for a comment i really appreciate them and the next time i get a few more i'll read them out how weird is that look that's a part of a gas stove that I broke on Friday morning. Somebody's put it on this gate here. How weird is that? I might better take that home actually and uh, reuse it to fix my little gas stove. So, winter's starting to roll in. We're in, I don't know what it is, it's the 14th of September today. And so, you know, the summer's coming to an end, slowly but surely. 
And it's meant to be hot this week actually, it's meant to be 30 degrees centigrade this week. But winter's coming in. I'm hoping we're going to get a good winter. And by that I mean a nice, a proper actual winter. Not just like a bit wet and mildly cold. I want a proper winter. You know, if it's going to be winter, you want a proper winter, don't you? You don't just want a bit. You want winter, an actual proper winter. But this is a nice road. You know, might be able to get a few more runs in the morning up and down here. Get a few different cars up and down here, but you know, there ain't going to probably ain't going to be a lot uh, yet. But if it snows, I want to take the Savage out and the MP9 out in the snow. I don't think it will snow. But you know what? I ain't got the Land Rover anymore. I was always all right. That van I had, I could get anywhere with that van and that Land Rover. I had no trouble. So if it snowed, I didn't care. Now I'm driving this Kia thingy with a dodgy engine. It's rattling like a bag of nails. Um, it's a nice car, a really nice car. I'm just, it's just annoying me that the engine's got the trouble that it's got. You know, the car's got 13,000 miles. Not 30, 13,000 miles on it. The engine has. And um, it's already got problems with the timing chain, it's rattling because it's got um, an oil tensioner and for some reason it's not working. I know why they don't work, you know, I'm not stupid, I know how they work and I know why they don't work because the seals are bad in it so the oil's not pressurised. Anyway, enough of that, you don't care about it. But it's got 13,000 miles on it and it's got a seven year warranty on it which is not up yet and Kia won't touch it, they don't do engines on the warranty. So I'm, I'm annoyed at it. You know, I don't like Kia. The car itself is nice. But it's front wheel drive, it's got little wheels, so if it snows, I'll be in a bit of trouble. But we can have fun, that's the main thing. So, where you live, what's it like? Um, you know, do you get a lot of snow? I imagine those of you in Canada and other places like that, you're gonna get a lot of snow. Do you still go out with your cars? I think, you probably, I think I've asked you this like before. Hopefully, uh, you know, winter doesn't mean no fun for you lot. I never did right what I'd done <coughs> some of you may remember I had a, I had a helicopter didn't I that, um, 1980s electric RC helicopter in the box and everything that I bought from a boot sale for like 12 quid well because I'm selling everything well I'm not selling everything I'm selling a lot of stuff um, to slim down I've got too much shit hanging around and it's annoying um, not only do I not use any of it it's dead money I'm just trying to just unclutter stuff, uh, get a bit of more of a straighter life as well. And so I sold it on eBay. Bloody eBay. Anyway, went to an auction. It was like £13 it went for. Oh man, but anyway, packed it up nicely and sent it on its way. Uh, it was next day postage as well with herms herms bloody herms don't use herms or hermes however you pronounce them I think it's herms isn't it and so bloody gnats look and so the person said it hasn't arrived so I said alright don't worry give it another day if it doesn't arrive still because it might be late because there's a disease going around isn't there things are delayed everything's slow it said it hasn't arrived yet I said, right, let me contact them. So I contacted them. They said, oh, it's on its way. It's a delay. I said, right, I thought so. No problem. I told the buyer, it's a delay. Because of the disease going around, everything's slow. There's a delay. He said, right, okay. And then he sent me a message, where is my helicopter? In capital letters. I said, I don't know. It's a delay. So I contacted Herms again. And they said, we'll investigate for you. I said, all right. But in the meantime, the buyer had opened up a case with eBay. Now, those of you that are familiar with eBay, this is the death. If you're a seller, when someone opens up a case, this is the death of you. Usually when this happens, I've always, cause I always take proof. I've got photographs, I always video as well, the item that I'm packing up to proof packing, to prove everything. Keep the receipt for postage all the lot because there's bastards out there that try to scam you. And it always happens to me. Anyway. So. And also the thing was. 
because it's me trying to be nice, the original postage on eBay, I know you're going to go, well, you shouldn't have done that, but I, I, I always do it, and it's usually all right. I'm trying to be nice. The postage on eBay that I charged was like £5 or something, but that was for three day, three to five day courier. When, I, when he bought it, I decided, right, fuck it, let's go, and I paid £18. I know, I know, I'm an idiot. £18 for next day delivery. Next day. They picked it up, they collected it from me, and it would have been there the next day, was the plan. So I paid for that, £18, and I originally charged him £5 per I know, I know, and I paid for the, more for the postage than I got for the old lot. I know that. Why did I do it? I don't know. I just felt really nice at the time. I thought, you know, this is an old helicopter. You know, I don't care about the money, really. I'm glad it's going to go to a good home, because he sent me all these messages about bloody... You know, oh, we collect helicopters and he's happy and all this. Oh, please, I managed to get one of these. So, he opened up a case. Um, because I was, I kept contacting Herms. Can I have evidence that it was because they were saying, uh, and then they said it was delivered. I said, Can I have the evidence, please? Because the buyer saying it wasn't delivered. Can I have evidence, a signature, the tracking of the your GPS system for the, your driver to prove that it was delivered? Um, and I, I was waiting for their reply on the email when next thing I know I get a notification from eBay saying your case has been unsuccessful and we have refunded the buyer so they refunded him the old bloody lot so I was like right okay contacted the buyer and I said you know where, where's the helicopter has it arrived or what and he put back in copy, capital letters no it has not in capital letters that's it no grammar, he's an idiot. So, you know, and then I contacted his homes. I said, look, can I please have the evidence now? Because my only hope of getting any money back was to get evidence from Herms to prove that it was delivered. Then I can go back to eBay and say, I can appeal the case and say, you know, you put the case in the buyer's favour, but here's the evidence from the courier company to say that it was actually delivered to the buyer and he is lying. And then they come back and they went... Oh, we've lost it. We can't find it. So I was like, right. And then they said, um, I said, I want some compensation then because I did pay for insurance. It's not going to cover what I bloody lost, but I did pay for insurance up to £20. Um, where was I? Yeah. So they said, okay, we'll cover you for £12.50. I said, £12.50? bloody I said I paid eighteen pound for the delivery. That it never, never happened. Not only to mention the cost of the item. And they said no, twelve pound fifty. Oh mate, what a nightmare, uh, you know. And then they only credit. Then they only credit that to the account on their website. They don't put it back in my bank. I said I want it in my bank, please. And they said we can't do that. We have to credit it to the account so you can spend it when you post something else next time. I said I don't want to post anything with you next time because you don't ever deliver it. It's not the only time. Herms always lose stuff. Herms are shit. Don't use Herms. Just, I don't know why I've done it again. You know, it's one of those things where you're like, oh, it's a bit cheaper. I know they've lost things in the past, but it's a bit cheaper, so I'll take a risk this time. Don't take the risk. Don't use Herms. Honestly. I don't know what they're playing at. So, yeah, I lost the helicopter. I don't know where it went. He probably did get it delivered. I don't know what happened. And, um, yeah, so, lost, lost the helicopter and didn't ever get any money back so that's that no money no helicopter i reckon he probably did get it he probably did arrive who knows always happens to me though this was a little while ago by the way because i always get people go have you got anything for sale and then you know when i sell something like you didn't tell me i was like no, no, no this was a while back this was probably a couple of months ago yeah so there we go oh, I've had some comments out I said thank you to whoever it was that bought me this I still, I don't know who it is but maybe you want to be anonymous so if you want to be anonymous that's completely fine um, I'm just astonished that people buy me gifts <laughs> why <laughs> you're all amazing you know that there's 2,000 let me have a look how many of you 2,492 people of you are subscribed to this channel you're all incredible you know all absolutely incredible, really are. 
Is there any particular video you will want me to make? Um, revolving it around Nitro and the cars, you know. Um, perhaps a tuning video. Ah, that's, a, that's something I could do, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. I will do that. I'm going to do a video, because I've done a tuning video in general, I think for summer. Let's do a video for the winter. I've got... What have I got? Well, the MP9's tuned for the summer, pretty much. Uh, let's do a video when it starts to get a bit nippier in the mornings. I think it goes down to around 10 degrees. I'll do a tuning video for the winter and show you the differences between the, when you first start it up from a, win, with a, win, a summer tune and the winter. Because it'll need to be a bit richer in the winter and leaner in the summer. <clears throat> yeah, we'll do that. Anything else you want me to do, just um, put a comment in. And uh, if I can make the video, I'll make a video. Uh, we'll, we'll go about doing that something. I'll catch you on the next one, dudes. Hope you're all well. Hope everything's perfect. Enjoy yourselves. And Christmas is on its way. We love a bit of Christmas, eh? <laughs> all the best to you lot. Thanks for watching. Take care.